Hey everyone, in this video what we're going to do is we're going to solve the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 minus x squared divided by the absolute value or modulus of x minus 1. Let's begin by rewriting our numerator in the following way. We have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 minus x multiplied by 1 plus x divided by the absolute value of x minus 1. Now, in order to progress, what we'll need to do is recall the absolute value function. We have the absolute value of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0, and minus x if x is less than 0. But we don't have x, we have x minus 1. So we need to rewrite our definition of the absolute value in terms of x minus 1. So let's do that. We have x minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 if x is greater than or equal to what? Right here we had x greater than or equal to 0. So let's think about this. Now we have x minus 1 greater than or equal to 0. If we were to replace x here with x minus 1 just as we have here. Well if we add 1 to both sides of this inequality we get x is greater than or equal to 1. So we have x is greater than or equal to 1 here. And we have minus x minus 1 for x less than 1 for the same reason. Now in our limit we're approaching 1 from the right. So if we imagine a number line, one's here, and we're approaching 1 from the right, which of these two do you think our absolute value function is equal to in this case? Well it's x minus 1. And the reason is because as x approaches 1 from the right, x is always greater than or equal to 1. So let's rewrite our limit using the information that we have now. We have the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 minus x multiplied by 1 plus x divided by x minus 1. Now what we're going to do is we're going to factor in minus 1 out of the denominator. So we have minus 1 multiplied by 1 minus x instead of x minus 1. And notice if we do that, the 1 minus x cancels with the 1 minus x here, and we're left with the limit as x approaches 1 from the right of 1 plus x divided by negative 1. And now we can go ahead and just let x be equal to 1. In doing so, we get our final answer of minus 2. Thank you very much for watching. If you found this content useful, make sure to like and subscribe. I hope you have a great day.